Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I did a stream yesterday. Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. I, I'm sorry. Like, I woke up yesterday morning and I barely could move. So, it's just extreme fatigue. There's nothing to be like worried about so I have an appointment on Tuesday yay okay I'm listening to my own music because we did a bonus stream on Wednesday night for Cold of the Lamb and the audio was desyncing but I think it's fixed now I'm gonna be checking it throughout the stream because it said it was an issue with my um, my capture card so I updated them because for the Elgato capture card you have to like update the drivers manually through the website sometimes so I updated them so hopefully it will work um, welcome in Kobobo and Mac and the just starting soon screen thank you guys for chatting yeah my sister got a Super Mario star topper it's actually cute it was $25 and she's like oh it's worth it and I'm like 25 bucks that's crazy but it does look cute huh Oh, there is a new Mario movie trailer. Did anybody watch the Game Awards last night? Uh, I know everybody was memeing about the thing at the end, but you know, it's whatever. Um, I, I'm not going to react to the trailer because I don't have my headsets connected to my computer today. Um, but I'm really excited for the Mario movie. The, the visuals and the music is going to go crazy. Game Awards? Yeah, they do it every year. I think it was Elden Ring that won Game of the Year. Pahu. I thought it was gonna be God of the War sweep. <laughs> but they won like everything else basically. Okay. So today, we're not doing Galaxy, we're doing a super special Aurora hunting stream because if we look. Well, it's weird not hearing the game audio. It's muted for me and on my TV. We have an empty plot because yesterday, Raymond left town. They got out of Dodge. Yesterday, since I didn't stream, I basically spent all day grinding Nook Miles. I started yesterday with 10k, but look, now I have 30k. So, <laughs> and also, last time, I think it was Mac who gave me tickets, so I'm up 13. So, I, I realized that when I went through my inventory, so I was like, oh, I didn't have to spend four hours grinding tickets. But you know what? It's fine. We might... Hopefully we'll find her in the first island, right? Right. <laughs> Imagine it said sold, I would lose my mind. The only thing, okay. The only thing I'm not liking too much about this setup is that the room isn't bright because I only get light from here. So, yeah, I can't really change my setup because my bed's over there. Maybe I'll rearrange my room again. It's fine, it's whatever. So guys, you know the drill. We're gonna be doing predictions every single island. Do you think I will find her? Before we get going, let's change her fit. Cause we gotta impress our girl, you know? Uh, today's gonna be a bit more chill. So, you know, chit chat, feel free, ask questions, all that jazz, normal Animal Crossing. Oh, wrong way. You play Xbox? What are you playing? Should I wear the red suit from the other day? Because <laughs> you guys were getting mad that I changed from it. I honestly like this a lot. The yellow dress. Like, don't I look like the lady from Tarzan? Did you find her? No, not yet. One day, Shirley. But welcome in, hacker. Wait, I need a backpack. Because we're going adventuring. Contra girl? Yeah. Now, I like this fit. I like it. It's cute. Okay, I need to play my music again. I'm listening to literally nothing. Oh my god, look how cute I am. Type one if you think we'll find her today. I think so. <laughs> I mean, surely we gotta find her today, right? 
It's been nearly a year. A year. In the spirit of Christmas? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, we've been searching basically every month since January. So it, it's gotta be one of these times, right? She's coming up for Christmas! Oh, a Christmas miracle! Hey guys, go Gamma. Do you think this island will be the one? Imagine we find her on the first try. That'd be crazy. Stream ends. What if she's mad at you? She could be. Just evading me this whole time. Oh, also, guys, um, I have a new tweet up. Go like it, please. Go like it. Go reply. I forgot to plug it to start a stream. I also have more watermelon as my snack today. Because nobody else is eating it. It's snowing. I think winter time is my favorite time in game. I love seeing the snowflakes and like how there's some depth perception to where some are like really close to the camera. It is the best. And like when it goes to the ground it looks like it's melting. I wonder how it is to like code it. Like for the game devs. Like to make something appear and then disappear. Oh, come on! God damn. A bird, but not the bird I want. Sad. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to grinding. Yeah, I think today... Oh, um, just a quick little announcement. You know how we were going to record, like, an offline segment for the Naughty or Nice stream? I decided, instead of doing a recording, we'll still, for the actual stream, like, look through people's logs. We're still gonna do that. But I think instead of, like, recording... Because I genuinely don't think I'll have time to, like, edit it down. Um, because I realized... <laughs> The weekend that we're, we were supposed to record, I have like three finals due. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. So I think instead, um, I'll post like a survey link. It'll still be like a Google form doc. But it'll be, it'll be asking like five to ten questions and then we'll like find the averages between everybody who submits. So I think more people would be prone to doing that than like spending an hour of their day on a Sunday, right? So... I'll set that up this weekend and I'll announce it on stream. Monday, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Cause... You know how I said everything is due Monday? Apparently everything is due Sunday this week. So... Now I have to do everything tonight and tomorrow. Because, oh, Ludwig is doing his chess boxing event on Sunday. It's at 4pm, I think? It's gonna be streamed on YouTube, so I'm gonna be watching that. So I'm like, I need to get all my homework done, that way I can watch his event. Fuck, I messed up. Yeah, but I think maybe next year we'll film a bit, or maybe for some stream bits throughout the year we'll film something, but I don't think I'll have the time. So I'm sorry. And I think a survey would be better, would be better anyway. So I'll have that done by Monday. Or no, I'll have it done by Sunday. That way I can plug it during the tourney stream. Cause like I'm honestly bummed because I had assignment I had an assignment due on Wednesday. Um 
Because you know how discussion posts work? It's due like this day and then a reply is due two days later. So I misread the due dates. So like the initial post was due Wednesday. And then a reply is due today. And then I already missed the initial Wednesday due date. So it's like you basically get a zero. So I was fucking upset. Because I logged in to do my homework yesterday. And then I saw that it was past due and I was like damn. So that's like minus 5% of my whole grade because I misread the due date and I was upset. So now the best grade I can get in, in the class is an 88 instead of a 93 and I'm like, damn. SMH. I mean, it's honestly my fault, but big sad. I went home and cried, dad. Also, does everything sound good? Does everything look synced? This guy's ugly. I don't like him. Yes, okay, cool. Oh, and like, since I was super tired yesterday, <laughs> I texted my sister. I was like, because she already left her work when I woke up. I was like, hey, favorite sister. I'm feeling very tired. Can we get takeout tonight? And she's like, sure. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so we got like teriyaki last night. Cause like my sister, she's being very like understanding and forgiving with me. Like she understands that I can't necessarily like push myself too much. Um, for chatters, you guys know, but there's periods in which I experience like extreme fatigue and numbness. Yesterday was one of those days. Not at the desk. We do not bring up that old beef, okay? <laughs> um, it, it's it's frustrating because I don't have a diagnosis and. So it's hard for people to, like, understand how severe it could be. Like, I try to explain it to some of my friends, and they don't necessarily get it. Because a while ago, one of my friends was like, Oh, you want to go on a hike? And I'm like, I don't know if I can, like, handle that. <laughs> but next week I have an appointment with a specialist, so... Hopefully it'll put me in the right direction. Hikes go crazy. Yeah, I used to love going on hikes. That was the person who would be able to, like, remember which way to go. Like, I can read a map easily. I'm the also type, the type of person to where, like, if I see a tree, I'll remember passing that tree. I have really good, like, spatial awareness. Like, once I pass through an area, like, if I'm walking or in a car, I can recall where everything is, basically, is. Because when we were little, we used to go out hiking as a family every weekend. Because we did something called letterboxing. It's kind of like geocaching, but more artsy. Because instead of getting trinkets, you would collect, like, stamp images. So my mom, dad, and my sister would go every weekend and spend all day hiking. And this is when we were, we were like, 8 and 10. So, <laughs> at first we begrudgingly went because, like... You don't want to spend the weekends with your parents every weekend as a child, you know? But the more we did it, the more fun I got. That sounds so cool. Yeah! I think we did it up until I was like 13. My sister would have been 11. But it's kind of like an old person hobby. Like a middle aged hobby. Like there weren't a lot of kids. Similar to us, there were only kids who would like get dragged along. Because it's kind of an activity you do by yourself or with a small group of people. But sometimes there'd be like events. Where some people who are like die-hard letterboxing fans would host a little get-together. And they would have like 15 to 30 people depending. But everybody at those events were like middle-aged people. There weren't a lot of kids. Sounds like an activity everybody would do, yeah. I mean, it's it's a family activity for the most part. I'm gonna adjust my blinds real quick. Yeah, 
It's the darkest I can get them. That's mad boring. Dude, you're such a hater. Yeah, I think... There's no way for me to hang a curtain because I'm not allowed to, like, screw things into the wall, so I can't hang a curtain rod. Hmm. I'm gonna change my- because, like, see how it's really bright here? It's because I'm wearing something dark. I'm gonna see if I can change my white balance. It's bogging me. Yeah, my ISO is already super hard. It's at AK ISO. Yeah, no nothing's gonna fix it. I think lighting is better, like, midday. Not being able to screw things in sounds rough, yeah. Like, I can't, like, wall mount my TV. I can't, um, like, hang up paintings. I can put thumbtacks. <laughs> so that's allowed. I mean, I don't mind, because, like, the plan is to put my paintings back here. Like, move the couch. And then put my paintings up. You know, it just says little plug. And since they're canvas panels, they're light enough to where, like, a thumbtack can hold it. Thumbtacks? <laughs> Shut up. You know, I gotta work with what I can. You can't have thumbtacks in the house? What? I mean, cause like... When people move out, they gotta like fill in the holes in the wall from screws and nails. But I feel like a thumbtack hole is less noticeable. Just use command strips? What is that? I don't know anything about hardware. I'm really good at assembling, but I'm not good at, like, building. Give me instructions and I can assemble a bed and a dresser, but... I hate using drills. Drills are scary. It's the sticky hooks that don't rip the wall. Okay, I bet if I saw it, I would know what it, it is. I'm still clueless. I'll look it up later. I've been getting, like, a lot of, like, home renovation videos in my recommended feeds. And I think if I ever have a house, I'd want it to be super artsy. Like, you know how people have, like, the statement accent walls where they put, like, wood panels up in an artsy pattern? Or they get, like, really expressive wallpaper? I also- I've also seen videos and pictures of people, like, painting their stairs, and that looks so pretty. Like, if I had my own house, I would have it be super artsy. It doesn't leave any residue or damage? That seems like a lie. That does not seem true. Impossible! <laughs> it is true. <laughs> what if you're lying, though? Okay, so if we're gonna do a survey instead of doing an interview, what question should I ask? I have a list in my head. Like, I think one of the questions is gonna be like, How many times have you lied? Have you ever stolen? Like, just like basic ones like that. Or like, do you hold a door open for people? Oh, another good one? Do you put the shopping cart away into the cat- in the, like, shopping cart area? What is it called? Like, in the parking lot? Or do you leave the cart out? I think you leave the shopping cart out just sitting in the parking lot. You are the worst human being. Because you are blocking a parking space, you are making more work for the workers. I remember one time, because there was a parking lot to where, let's say the the um, the cart rack was here, and in order to get for it, you had to like roll your cart over like a grass mound. There'd always be like lines of carts on top of that grass mound because people wouldn't like move it over the grass mound to bring it to the the cart rack. And I remember my dad was getting mad at me because I was moving like two or three carts into the bike rack or into the car rack. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I just want to move these. They're in the way. He's like, no, that's not your job. And I'm like, well, that's obviously what everybody else thought when they left their carts out.
<laughs> Mac has a vendetta against the people who don't put their cards away. I forgot you work in the service. I mean, I do both. Wait, what do you mean you do both? You put the cart in the rack and then you leave the cart outside the rack? Is that what you're saying? So you're like a neutral good? Mm-mm. Dude, I really want to play Cult of the Lamb. I got so close to being the boss last time. I got really close. <gasps> That's what my dad says too. I don't know if they say like ironically or cheerfully. Where it's kind of like, dude, I hate that shit. Where they're like, oh, I don't want this anymore. I'm gonna put the flower in the candy aisle. That way, all these little peasants working have a job to do. Oh my god. I hate it. It's like the... To me, it's so insensitive. You... You're just obviously inconveniencing somebody else. Both my parents do it. And I, I saw my sister do it one time. I'm like, no, you better walk two hours down and put that shit back. This is a while ago, not recently, but... After that, she never did again. <laughs> and people wonder why the store is messy. Yes, yeah, fucking customers will. I can't believe that other people think it's job insurance. I think it's one of those instances where people make justifications for their wrongdoings. Like, it's not like a worker has told you, Oh, when you guys don't put stuff away, it gives me something to do. I don't think a worker has ever told a customer that. That's just something that the little customer made up in their head. Um, guys, we are 30 minutes into the stream, so it's time for me to tell you guys to follow if you're not following. And if you are following... Uh, turn notifications on. Only 75 uh, Fuck. Only 70% of you guys have notifications turned on, so turn them on. Easy. I know whenever I see something in the wrong spot at the store, like seeing, like, flour in the candy aisle or clothes in the bread aisle, I get annoyed because you know a worker doesn't do that, you know it's a customer just being lazy. Or it's possibly like a child wanting to buy something and the parent says no and the child has to sadly put it back on the show. It's one of those two scenarios, right? But the thing that bothers me so much is that it's obviously inconveniencing the worker. And I know a lot of the public see like service workers or entry level workers as like peons. Or people they can, like, be rude to. But they're still people. You know. It, when I go to a sit-down restaurant, I usually stack the plates and stack the bowls that are similar size. I usually try and put all the trash in one section, that way it's easier for them. Like, and my parents are the opposite. They will intentionally, like, shove napkins in between plates, in between cups, and stack them all silly kind. And they're like, oh, the... The server will do that for me and separate it, but it's like... I can still make it easier for them. Like, both of them have had service jobs. Like, why not make it easier for the next guy? I don't know. I have close friends who work food and other thing, but respect? Yeah, because it's like... These people are making food for you. Something that you actually consume. So, like, if you overwork them, then it's gonna lead to, like, poor food quality. That's why fast food is usually super bad and people get sick all the time. Because they're overworked, understaffed, so it leads to issues in the workplace. 
I'm not a slave, I'm a human? True. But people treat us like slaves, huh? We're just a slave to capitalism! Oh, I just realized since it's winter, everybody's wearing like snow caps. But you know what? That's our second attempt. Not this time. I think the only time I don't put something back in the aisle how I found it is if it's closed. Because I cannot fold clothes for the life of me. Like, I want to learn, but if I'm trying on a sweater and I have to put a bag, I can never fold it right. I can understand the argument that it's the worker's job to keep the store tidy and clean and organized, but... Like, don't, like, trash it. Oh, wait, you know the displays they have in, like, grocery stores where they have, like, like, tens of, ten to hundreds of things stacked to make, like, a pyramid or something? Like, I feel like your local Walmart will always try to, like, stack the soda cans near the front of the store into, like, a pattern of design. Like, ours always had, like, a Seahawks logo because they're in Washington. Or they'd have, like, a heart during Valentine's Day. Did anybody ever get the urge to, like, knock it down? Not as an adult, but as a child. Just to, like, take the one from the bottom and see what happened. <laughs> Obviously, I would never do it. But it does seem very appealing. Oh yeah, the people who leave, like, chill food out, they're like actual psychopaths. Why would you do that shit? Like, you're legitimately wasting food. Yeah, I think the people who open the food before they buy it, I don't understand why they think they're able to do that. Like, you haven't bought it yet. What gives you the right to open the product before you buy it? Like, I can understand if a kid does it, because, you know, the kid doesn't know better, but when I see an adult do it, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, when I'd be working at the subway, I would be, like, making the sandwiches, and of course, like, they have the, the chips right on the front, front line, so that people will grab them as they're paying. And I would have people, like, open it and start eating the chips, and then by the time they get the checkup, the chips are gone. And of, of course, like, they would pay for it, but I would just look at them, and I'd be like, oh, can you put that on the counter? Because, <laughs> like... <sighs> It's not necessarily a sanitary issue because since at Subway the food lines are open and the customer's right there, like if they're chewing, they can spit on it. There was one time, you know what gleeking is where you just like accidentally spit? There's been a few times where like a customer has gleeked onto the glass that blocks the food line. But um, yeah. So it's like, just don't eat by the front line. Like that's one of the things I liked about wearing the mask at work. Is that, obviously when you're talking, you spit. So when you wear a mask, like, it captures the spit. So I think it makes sense for any food worker to be wearing, like, a, a, a facial cover at least. Because, like, once we started wearing masks at work, I realized how much I spit when I talk. I bet anybody who streams themselves will see, like, all the spit on their monitor, too. I would leave and never come back if I sprayed onto the glass. Good customer, good customer. <laughs> the phrasing? Did I say something weird? Clip it. <laughs>
You did? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you did say something weird. Mods, keep an eye on Mag. See, that's something I should not have said out loud, huh? Well, I don't think you tried to debate me. Because, you know how there's people who go into chats and try to debate the streamer into saying something sus? I don't think that's happened to me yet. Like, a random coming in, because we're in follower 10 minute mode, so, like, it's not like it happens often. Oh. Um, since we did the sub only stream on this Wednesday, I had to refund a few points because we didn't do calligraphy, I forgot, and then a few people didn't get sacrifices made, so I redeemed everybody's points. So don't freak out. I did not scam. I would never scam. This ocean is so pretty. It looks more like Cerulean on my camera because I have the game mode on my camera. Or my TV. So everything is like slightly more saturated. It's like this really pretty like Cerulean green blue color. It's like the color of my eyes in game. See what it looks like if I open my blinds. Wait, hold. Cause like it looks bright here, right? But since the POV is smaller, wait, what? Yeah, peace I two pray Aurora. Like it's not, it's not. To me, it looks dull. It's bugging me. Holy moly. Does that look better? No, it makes me look washed out. Sorry. I. It's because, like, the light changes throughout the day, right? Yeah, I do need to get better. I do need to get better lights. You are right. That way I can get more light over here. Wait, I did lower them. I just remembered. Because... <laughs> I lowered them because we streamed in the nighttime. I forgot to increase the brightness. Oh, my God. That's why I have about like ten percent instead of a hundred percent redness. Dude, I'm TUM. <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. You can hear the pressing of the button. Uh oh. That's a bit better, right? It's not. It's better. Better. Okay, crisis averted. Should I make a wish list on stream? Dear Santa. Pikachu fell? No, it didn't. I should make Pikachu fell a block term. That way hacker gets banned one day. <laughs> should make an Amazon one? I thought about doing that, but it's like, I don't want to... I don't want to seem like I'm begging for shit. That's why I don't have, like, a crown wish list either. I think it's because, like... I honestly, I honestly would get, like, subs or bits or donations than getting an item. Because, to me, an Amazon wish list is things that I want, but don't necessarily need. So, I don't think I would make one. Or, like, I have one for myself, but I wouldn't make a public one. Whoa. Well, the things I want for stream are expensive. <laughs> Good. Okay, what about for stream? I want a new Elgato capture card because one of them is busted. One is buggy. I want the new Sony... It's like Sony 700V. Which is like a new vlog camera that's basically a DSLR, but it's a USB camera. It's crazy. I need new lights. And that total is like... Because the Elgato capture card is 200 bucks. Actual scam. 
Camera's 500. Yeah, it's like 800 bucks. A new desk? Adam need a new desk? So that's something I can save up for. I was caught up in your veins, spinning like a bullet. Okay. Yeah, but like, the idea of someone buying something of that... Oh, come on! Magnitude? Is like, overwhelming to me. They're cute, but not her. It's kind of like, I wouldn't like accepting a gift that big from a friend, even. I'm trying to think. I think the largest, like, monetary gift I ever got from my parents was the Wii. But we got that as, like, a family gift for Christmas one year. And, yeah. Because we never had too much money to spend. So I think that was the largest... Like, largest costing gift I ever received. And that wasn't for me. So it feels weird accepting something that is super expensive. Your current phone is your biggest gift? That's nice. I've had to buy everything that I have, essentially. Which is fine. My dad did buy me a $5 blackjack phone. Not Blackberry, a blackjack phone when I was in 8th grade from a garage sale. That was pretty cool. I think it's because for Christmas we were given a budget of like $100 to $200. So it's not like you could buy anything super big. They told me it was the last one they would buy me. Sad. The Wii's an amazing gift? Yeah, everybody played it. So that was a good Christmas. No, I think it was... When did the Wii come out? Because I think we got it a few months after it came out, so I don't remember... I think we got, like, the Wii Fit for Christmas. We probably got the console a bit before. 2006? No way. That seems, like, too early. I'm off to someone else. Sorry, I'm listening to a song. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what's the biggest gift that I've bought for somebody? Because, like, I usually make presents. I know this year I'm making my... No, no narcs! No narcs! If one of my friends is watching, close your ears, okay? Um, I'm making them paintings of their favorite, like, manga or anime scenes. So I'm working on that off stream. Because, you know, I'm broke, so I can't necessarily buy shit. <laughs> so, you know, making a present is just as good. I need to figure out a way to, like, transfer the image. Because I don't want to, like, grid. Gridding is where you, um, like, draw lines over your reference picture and then onto your canvas. And then, based on where everything is in the grid, you copy it. I could do that, but that's going to take a long-ass time. Because I don't have a printer here, so maybe I can go to the library, <laughs> but imagine going to the library and printing out anime pictures. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cringe. I actually have to go to the library this weekend and print out some paperwork, so... <laughs> I'm trying to think, did my parents buy me a laptop? I don't think so. I think I bought my own laptop. Yeah, I bought my own laptop when I was in school. Because, like, I didn't work, but, um... I had, like, money saved up from, like, Christmases and birthdays for my grandparents. You want to hear something fucked up? I had, like, 5000 saved up for college. But my parents spent it. Like, they took it out of my joint savings account. They spent it one year. Because they needed it for, um, what you call it? For mortgage. So, rip college fund. Yeah, big sag. But you know, it's fine. You can't do anything. I was, what, 16? So it don't matter. 
Ah, it's whatever, yeah. I didn't even know I had that much money. <laughs> I didn't know I had that much saved up until it was gone. I mean, it was either lose the house or college, so pick one. Now, nah, there's been a lot of shit like that that they've done that's kind of like sus. So, anyway. Hacker's been following for seven months? No way. Has anybody been following for a year? I'm trying to think. Not many people were watching me this time of year. Because I think my channel started growing in like January and December of 2020. Or December 21, January 22. So does anybody have a year follow age? As soon as she turned 18, she separated the account? Good. Good. Yeah, I still, like... I think my mom is still a joint owner of my account. Like, I still have full control. She can't access it, but I think I'm gonna go into a new bank soon. I just need to figure out which one... Because um, my bank has really nice benefits. I don't think I should leak which bank it is. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's got really good benefits for credit card holders. And if you want to take out personal loans. The rates are pretty good. busted with my half-open eye. <laughs> oh my god, this morning I woke up and I have a pimple right here. Like, on the, like, crease of my eyelid. Thankfully it doesn't hurt, but I know tomorrow it's gonna hurt like a bitch. Crusty eye. Yeah, it's gonna be me. Apparently, if you get a lot of, like, pimples on your face, it could be from your pillow. So make sure you're washing your sheets at least once every two weeks. Ideally, every week. You gotta stay? I don't- I hope not. I really hope not. I've only seen a sty a few times, because- Oh no, my dad had one. It was really bad. Like, he had to get it, like, cut open and drained. I hope it's not a fucking sty. I mean, my left eye is my bad eye, so it don't really matter. I can let this one go. They say you're gonna die if you take food from a pregnant woman? Huh? I don't know what a sty is. Uh, it's basically like a really... It's like a... I think it's like a mix between a wart and a pimple. <laughs> They're not good. <laughs> yeah, anyway, wash your sheets, guys. No way! Thank you for that gifted Mac. Why gifting? Thank you, hon. Can we get some wax in chat for Mac? Thank you for gifting. Um, since you gifted, you are gonna get your name written at the end of stream and adding a present under the tree. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. What did I do? 
Oh, Slimey, I got it. They've lurked before. Enjoy that gifted. Aren't you wearing a coat in the snow? Should I? It'd be cute if you could, like, layer clothing. Like, if you're wearing a shirt in-game, you could put, like, a coat on top. That'd be cute. Should I change my fit? Man, I don't really care. I think I look cool and sick and brazen if I don't wear a coat in the cold. Hey, Camille, you're shopping? Nice. Thank you, Mac. I'm trying to see if I have any medicine in here. Oh, I have one. Nice. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, the other night I got so fucking mad. Because this was the night I was trying to like tell my sister to take out the trash, right? And she was like, oh, I'm not gonna do it. And I was like, okay. So I waited two hours, and I was like, fine, fuck it, I'll do it then. So I go outside, and outside, like, the duplex, the trash bins are, like, on the side, because we don't have, like, a communal trash. Everybody has their own bin. Um, so, like, on the side of the building, because there's, like, a gate. So, like, the trash was behind a gate. And there was, like... Because, like, the previous tenants left stuff here, so there was, like, a table and then, like, a big shelf blocking the path to go from the gate to the sidewalk. And so I had to move the fucking shelf by myself. And I was thinking to myself, like, these two things were blocking the path. Like, if there were a fire and we had to go through the backyard, we would have, like, fucking died. Because there would have been shit blocking it, right? So I, I move the shit, I take the trash out, and I go back inside, like, internally fuming because... Something that really makes me angry or upset is when things can solve, like, a... Things could solve... Things could create, like, a safety issue because, like, you should never have anything blocking an exit, a pathway. Because if there's an emergency where you can't necessarily get out your door, you need to make sure you can get out a window or a side door, all that type of shit. So I go back to side, and I'm like, why the fuck is there shit blocking, like, the back gate? And they're like, oh, I don't know. And it's just like, you can't have stuff like blocking a pathway. Like, if we need to get out quick, you can't allow that stuff. I would embody that stuff. I mean, it sucked because it was like a... Like, you know the metal shelves you see in the back of a store to, like, store shit? It was one of those. I don't know why the fuck that's there. Um. But it was missing a wheel. So I... Like, you can't just roll it. I had to, like, lift it. And move it further into the backyard. Probably for the kitchen? Maybe. Wait, we actually could use- Cause like, there's no pantry. So, I've been like struggling on how to organize the kitchen. Come on! Anyway, there's not a lot of like, cupboard space. So, I've been struggling to like, have enough like, space for like, dry goods to keep in the kitchen. Yeah, we can't store stuff in the garage because, like, the garage door leaks or, like, rain comes in. So we can't store stuff in there. I don't know. It's shit we gotta figure out. And by we, I mean me because I'm apparently the new mom. I got a pantry with a bread box. Nice. Oh, you know what's something else I like? We, you know I told you guys we had an air fryer that the previous tenant left? The air fryer doesn't work. I plugged it in and it doesn't work. So I probably have to like break it open one night and tinker with it. Because my sister, she bought these like automatic foaming hand dispensers. And one of them wasn't working. And how it worked. If anybody is like... Likes to tinker with stuff. It had, like, a little motor inside. It was battery-operated. Uh, no, it wasn't battery-operated. Sorry, it was charging. Like, it had a USB charging port. And it had, like, these plastic tubes. Or, the, yeah, these plastic tubes that went from the base bottom. And then two tubes in the internal part. 
and like one of the tubes was um one of the tubes was twisted so I had to undo it and then it worked because my sister was like at the point like I'm just gonna buy a new one I'm like no just break it open it's usually just something internally wrong that they disassembled them properly didn't they leave something else what did they leave oh they left this painting that painting uh they also left like a desk that <laughs> the desk my sister refuses to give to me even though I call dibs a microwave an air fryer trashes in the bathrooms that's nice um what else a few shelving they left like a swiffer wet jet so I can mop the floors trash cans did the microwave yes the microwave worked thank fucking god <laughs> because since the type of meal prep I'm doing I'm essentially cooking like a day in advance we kind of need the microwave and like because I told you guys one of my roommates was, was living here before my sister and I moved in and they don't know how to cook so they were just like eating out of the freezer like pre prepped meals and shit like the pre-made stuff you can buy at the store because the most they can make is pasta what I want to do is I try to want to make I want to try and make fuck one of the things I want to do is I want to try and cook together with everybody so that, that way everybody learns like the basics when it comes to cooking because I think cooking is easy it's a lot of it is assembly some basic prep you don't necessarily need to do like super elaborate techniques in order to like cook basic shit cooking is boring no it's fun I think okay the way I make cooking fun is I try and get it done as efficiently and as quickly as possible so whenever I learn a new recipe I do it slowly and then in my head I keep mental note of like oh I can do this way this next time or I can prep this in advance a day ahead and I think it's fun to work that way I think it's because like I've worked in food service kitchens before I've never worked in a fully fleshed kitchen but I think it'd be fun to work in those type of kitchens to where you're kind of like incentivized to work faster it makes it feel like a game and I kind of like it I will eat out forever <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I could afford it, I would probably, like, go out to eat or get delivery. But it's not healthy. And it's good to know how to, like, cook for yourself. And you get a meal when you're done? Yeah, it's really rewarding to cook for yourself. That's something that I've learned ever since, like, cooking on my own without my parents around. Is that I feel so much more proud of it. And knowing that I'm able to, like, choose what kitchen appliances I can buy, what supplies I buy, I get to do the shopping. Knowing that I did it myself is very... It makes me feel like I did something worthwhile. Granted, I'm able to cook more because I have time, but I think if I had like a full-time job, then you would not have the time for it. I think it's gross how a lot of women are expected to still have a job and also like do all the housework, do all the cooking and cleaning. It's just unfair. Because like I've talked to a few friends who have this stigma. They're like, oh, if I get a wife one day, I want them to like do all the housework and do all the cooking. And I was like, well, you can want that, but is that a reasonable and realistic perspective? Because if you look at it, your job you have right now is no way going to cover your living expenses along with everybody else in the household, even if you had kids, too. So how can you expect somebody who's working as many hours as you probably to still invest two to three hours every day for things in the home when you do nothing? Kind of unfair, right? And they're like, oh, true. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Talk to more fucking women in your life. <laughs> anyway, you know what else is unfair? Happy to watch ads because, guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad for going all month long. And if you... Well, oh, wait. You can also link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag stuff for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. And if you are new here and you aren't following, follow the channel. That way you can type in chat and hang out and have fun with us.
Okay, get some water, get a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few. 8 out of 10? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Ads are unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Yeah, falling out or I get really mad. How long is watermelon good for? Because I cut this like four days ago and it tastes kind of like overly sweet. Like, you know when you have fruit for too long and it tastes kind of like fermenty-y, like it's too sweet? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a week? Hmm. I mean, if I want to make wine, it'd probably be good for like two weeks, right? <laughs> nah, I'd never. Does anybody know how I can use a whole gallon of milk in two days? Because one of my roommates' moms, they have a Costco membership, so that she will like bring us food occasionally. And she has brought us a gallon of me a gallon of milk every week. So right now we have one and a half gallons in the fridge. Lots of cereal. <laughs> nah. So I'm like in my head, I'm like, how am I gonna use a whole fucking gallon? Like I could try to make my own like sauce from scratch. But I think sauce is more cream than milk. I could look up a recipe. Ooh, I can make mac and cheese. Hmm. A whole fucking gallon? My sister hates milk, so we have one less person who will drink the milk. Make mashed potatoes? Ooh. Good suggestion. Does anybody think we'll find her today? I think I'll stream for like three, four hours the normal time. But we have to find her today, right? We have to. Okay, I think I'm gonna make some medicine. That way I just have some on standby. say that every month you know I gotta be hopeful if I'm all doom and gloomer then it'll never work like imagine if I'm negative every stream would you guys okay type one if you'd watch that if I was still like super negative all the time because I talked about this before but the people who were like super self-deprecating or like really negative it's just not entertaining to me it just makes me feel more sad. And I'm already pretty sad. <laughs> Go Bobo. No, you're lying. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys are simps. If you type one, you're a simp. <laughs> I mean, but would it be, like, enjoyable to watch? I don't think so. 
Because, like, I'm trying to think of, like, the creators I watch, and if anybody's like, <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> Good one. Uh, I'm trying to think of the people I watch. Because I like the people who are, like, really positive. Like, I think one of my favorites is Extra Emily. Like, she's always super positive and happy. It's very rare that she's, like, kind of sad or kind of, like, down. And it just, it brightens your day, you know? If they're overly positive, it gets cringe. Yeah, I think there's a line. I think it's different if it's, like, a YouTube video because in my head, I know that they're cutting and trimming. So I kind of understand that, like, YouTube videos are inherently fake. I think that's why I've gravitated more towards stream content in the past few years because when you're watching a stream, it feels more like, I guess you could say intimate in the sense of um, you're interacting with somebody in real time. It's very, you can't like necessarily cut things out during a stream. It's very much like stream of consciousness. Okay, it's time for another run, guys. Yeah, I should get a coat on. It's snowing on all these islands. Next time we go back home, which will be when we have Aurora, of course. Wait! Oh, those are flowers. You can see, like, the little magenta red flowers in the background. Those, like, the same color as her coat. I got excited. And debated. the game awards last night all i could think about is like how shit nintendo graphics are when compared oh, when compared to like playstation xbox or pc games because i remember they were showing like trailers for like all the new games and releases and they would cut to like a nintendo trailer and it looks like ass <laughs> like ketchup is cute i've had ketchup before they're like quirky the switch is unacceptable yeah I want to save up for a Steam Deck. Because I like the idea that you don't necessarily need a PC to play, like, Steam games. <laughs> I know, Splatoon 3 won best multiplayer. That's crazy. Wait, you know how when they were announcing, um... Like, it was, like, viewer-nominated game of the year? And the, the announcer was like, And we removed the bot votes, because apparently, like, people were botting it. And I think Genshin Impact won. And I think the reason why Genshin won is that if you voted for Genshin, then you could get an in-game item or some shit. Yeah, but now that my sister has the PlayStation 5, she's given me her PS4. I haven't connected it yet. Because, like, I don't... The only PlayStation game I played was, um... 
Ghost of Tsushima, which I really like, but I'm not really good at combat, so I played the easy mode. But once... Because I think in order to capture PlayStation gameplay, you need, like, a separate cord. So I need to figure out what I need. Similar to, like, capture Wii audio, you need a separate cable. So... Maybe we'll do PlayStation games. I'm no longer a Nintendo streamer. Weekly Fortnite stream? No, I would... You guys would lose your minds if I started playing Fortnite. Oh, I did not want to sit down. I'm reinstalling Fortnite. <laughs> I'm just not good at shooters. I've never played a shooter. The only game that I played with guns in it was like the Wii Play game where you shoot flying saucers. That's literally the only game I played that has a gun in it. Oh, and Eastward too, but that doesn't really count. And Splatoon, but that's not really a gun. It's just a glorified water gun. There are a few games during the awards last night that I was kind of looking at that I wrote down. But a lot of them are PC exclusive. Or like PlayStation exclusive. I was like, fuck, I can't play those. scared because I thought I heard a voice like it sounded like my sister's voice in my head but it was just like because you know sometimes in some songs they'll have like somebody talking at the start and then they'll go into the vocals oh my god that got me what song is it it's misery business by Paramore dude I got scared so bad do that like why why do they have somebody just talking normally well, another like intro that bothers me too is the start to um it's a Jordan Sparks song one step at a time where it's like for like to like mimic footsteps and that one scares me too I can understand it's artsy, but it's unnecessary. I blank for a second. Because, <laughs> like, I think the best way to describe what my normal mentality is is that I, I'm always thinking about multiple things at once. Or, like, just several things in quick succession. And, oh, one thing that I do, you guys may notice it, but sometimes when I close my eyes, I will, like, roll them upwards. And I don't necessarily mean it to, like, roll my eyes. It's just, like, it's a tick that I have. 
And I remember my parents would get so mad when I was little because like, they'd be like, why are you rolling your eyes? But I was, I was telling my friend about it because they noticed it too. And they were like, oh, you're just doing like a factory reset. Because <laughs> like, I noticed I do what I'm like overthinking. They're like, oh, you're just resetting. I'm like, oh, that's good. A lot of my, like, YouTube recommended is 2000 pop songs, and I'm getting a lot of Black Eyed Peas songs. And I forgot how much I loved listening to their stuff. Because in the car, my mom would always play the radio, she'd always get, like, the top... The top 50 hits! Like, the CDs from the library and burn them. Uh, In-game, of course, she would do that in-game, not in real life. <laughs> Because, like, I'm listening to It's Let's Get It Started, which is obviously the radio mix. Because, like, the original version is the R word, right? I remember when I heard the non censored version, because, like, I'd only heard the radio version of the song. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I was just clueless. I had no idea. Yeah, the OG version is crazy, yeah. <laughs> I think it just goes to show how much times have changed. I understand the argument that people can say what they want to say, but essentially, the reason why you should not say slurs or words that are insensitive is because when you bring up those words, you don't necessarily know what everybody else's traumas or life experience is. So possibly by saying the word, you could be making that person re-experience or relive that trauma in that moment. So. I can understand why you feel like you have the right to say what you want, but it's about respecting others. That's the reason why you should not say certain words and be respectful of that. Because usually when I bring up that argument to people who are like, defenders of using certain slurs, they're like, oh. Because if you just say things are bad or that you shouldn't do it, people don't necessarily understand the actual meaning behind why they should not do a said thing. And another thing is like, you can obviously use some words in private, and that's whatever, but the thing you have to understand is that everybody has their own boundary on what they deem is okay. So just because saying... Let's say, for example, stupid is fine with friend one, doesn't mean it's fine with friend two. So. Yeah. Just be respectful of everybody's boundaries. A strong good is like people like that? I used to think that way too. But it's a matter of them not being, you could say, educated. Or lacking certain perspectives. And I am of the firm belief that people can change. All you need to do is provide them the right perspective. Not right. Provide a different perspective. Or a different way of seeing things or wording it. Because if you start off with somebody you don't agree with, obviously being like confrontational or super argumentative, they're going to be like standoffish and not want to actually listen to what you're saying. Because I have the belief to where if somebody believes something, you have to firmly defend it. And if you can't defend what you believe, then you don't actually believe it. Because it's very easy to like, passively consume information or form your opinions off of things that like fallacies or, or slogans or headlines. But if you don't actually do research and go into depth as to why you believe what you believe, then you don't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna buy some more tools. I need a handful more axes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, another attempt. I think this is attempt number six. I think we're doing five islands. I have like another thought. And I'm trying to think of like how to word it. Because I feel like a lot of the of my opinions are very blunt and unconventional. And I think it's important to like express those thoughts in a way. Like I talked about earlier, that can change a perspective. Because obviously if you're listening to something you don't agree with. People aren't going to be receptive. No, Hassan got banned after a day. Thank God. <laughs> I was going through withdrawals. Because <laughs> I think I watched him on leftovers and then he did a normal stream. Because if you get um, banned on Twitch, you can find L'Appeal. Similar to like YouTube. And then hopefully get unbanned earlier, but... The issue with, like, if a non-partnered channel gets clapped, then your likelihood of getting unbanned is very minimal. Okay, we're not gonna get debated by the flowers this time. No sight of said villager yet. Okay, you know people who play in this perspective? How do they do it? I don't get it. I always have to play from, like, bird's eye POV. No! <laughs> Islands number six was not it. Not it. Because the, the thought that I'm trying to, like, conceptualize my thoughts on is commentary YouTube channels. And I was going to tie it into, like, podcasts. But I'm like, hmm, because, like, podcast fans are, like, very adamant fans of their creators, right? I think the main thing I want to say. I think the big increase for why commentary channels is, like, the current meta for, like, YouTube and how reacting is the current meta for Twitch streaming. I think it's because people seek opinions that align with their own because it's validating to hear somebody talk about what you like about what you guys agree on or your perspectives on life or politics and i think it's fine to talk about your opinions that's basically what i do on stream a lot you know i play games and i just ramble and talk but i think it can lead to this very isolated mindset to where you only consume opinions that coincide with your own or you only consume the content that you like and I think it's kind of funny when people start making content and it fully gravitates or revolves around their opinions or perspectives. Especially as someone who doesn't have a following. This is the reason why I don't think I'd ever have a podcast. Because I think it's super egotistical to start a podcast when you have no audience or very little following. Because you assume that absolute strangers who have no idea who you are will like you and will like what you have to say. Like, I think streaming on its own is egotistical, but having a podcast is, like, on another level, right? Like, you just assume that people or randos will listen to you ramble for hours during a podcast. That's my kind of- that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> Me saying, oh, people who thinks they can spread their thoughts online is kind of cringe, but also this is my opinion on it. Because I think- with the increase of access to the internet and like social media on its own too. There's so many different opinions, but I feel like there's a bunch of base perspective perspectives and morality that people will coincide with. So I feel like there's always gonna be some type of content that lines up with what you believe. I haven't started a podcast then, yeah, exactly. Do you take all the islands from the villagers that aren't Aurora? So, wait, what? Do you take all the materials from the islands because you don't want the villagers that aren't Aurora to have materials? Um, I'm just doing the work for them, you know? 
And why would I waste 2,000 miles and not grind materials? Right, right. You ask this every time, back. <laughs> I think you just want me to one time say, I don't care. And I want to steal everything, everything from them so they die. That's what you want me to say, but I'm never going to fall for it. Obviously, you can clip that part out. You know, clip chip me, but... Real ones will know that's not what I said. This was the first time... No, I think... So, okay. Somebody said that last time. It, wait. Who was this? I know somebody said it last time. We'll have to look through your logs, hacker. <laughs> um, we are an hour 30 into stream, so it's time for you to tell everybody if you are new here, follow the stream. You get funny haha -ha free... Follow our emotes and then you can hang out in chat. And if you are following, make sure you have goal line notifications turned on. That way you get notified for when I go live again. Only 75 fuck I, I always fuck at this product. Only 70% of you guys have notifications turned on, so everybody, smash that bail. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting better at it though. Cause like I think Twitch recommends that you do a follower plug every 20 minutes. But I think 30 minutes is good. And half the time I forget. Because I disabled the follower bot in chat. Or the, the alert that tells people to follow. Because I think it's better if you say it yourself. I don't know. We got one follower today. Let's fucking go. So I guess it kind of worked. The alert was scary. <laughs> no, it wasn't. What was the old alert? What was it? No, do you mean the pinned comment? Cause, cause like, I had a timer bot in chat. I think the ad density on Twitch is crazy. I know for me, I can run up to three minutes, and I run three minutes. I do three minutes every hour. I could do a minute 30 every 30, but I think having one ad break every hour is good. Because, you know, it allows people to go to the bathroom, me to get some water if I need to. But anything higher, I think it's crazy. I personally manually run my ads, because I like to give people a warning. I think timed ads hurt the viewer experience. Like, I hate when... If I'm in a channel I'm not subscribed to, they're in the middle of talking, you just get blasted with an ad. I think it's super annoying. Because I remember there's like a few bigger channels that'll have like an ad density of like 8 minutes an hour. So that's essentially like 4 minutes every 30. So 2 minutes every 15. Like that's... I can understand that's like way less than traditional TV. But it's just so invasive to like the viewer experience. 8 minutes, yeah. It's crazy how many... How much ad density certain channels have. And it all depends on their Twitch contacts. Like some streamers don't have any. They aren't obligated to run ads. But it's also like they usually get a cut on their subscriber revenue. Um, but obviously you don't have bargaining power until you're partner level. But I think the basic they give to affiliates now is 3 per hour. But you don't necessarily need to run all 3. But I choose to. That way people get used to it. Bell bottom disco. Okay, I think I'm gonna change my fit. This one is obviously bad luck. Oh, I keep on thinking my house is over there.
I don't want to wear the Christmas sweater, though. That's what I wore yesterday, but it's so cute. Gage. <laughs> this is going to be hard to match. You don't have a coat? Not really. And what do I match with this even? I guess that? Yeah, I don't have any caps. But the, the cream matches because there's some cream in the sweater. Nah, we're gonna... Are we really gonna walk up to our GF like this? They're gonna think we're lame as fuck. <laughs> the traitors. <laughs> okay, which looks better, the light or the dark boots? I kind of like the darker ones. Dark? Yeah, I'm thinking of the darker ones. This looks like we're going out for a walk in the snowy park. Oh look, we're kind of matching. Both got sweaters on. Okay, attempt number seven. I believe. Surely this will be it. We changed our outfit. It should be good luck, right? Any doubters want to put 2k in doubt? <laughs> no do. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Any believers? Did imagine. I 
I really want to find her. I really want to. Come on! Surely one day. If we find her, you guys have to go crazy, okay? You guys gotta go wild. Okay, your copy pasta is ready because we will find her today. Mm hmm. people play Animal Crossing, they wear no make normal clothes. Like, what I'm wearing right now, I think it's really funny. Like, it matches it because it's snowing, you know, we gotta be bundled up. But usually, I try and dress with, like, dresses and stuff. Because it's stuff that I would never wear IRL. Or, like, the costumes. Because I think it's fun. You know, it's a game. Why not have it not mimic your real life, right? I think one of my friends, I think it was Cutely who told me how they have a different outfit for every activity they're doing. Like, they have, like, a gardening outfit, and then a fishing fit, and then a normal fit. So they'll go back home and change, or they'll use the wand. And I think that's so cute. Yeah, different fits for the weather? Oh, that's cute. I just wear whatever. Because I think it's funny to wear tank tops when it's snowing. Because I just picture my character freezing, but they can't express it. Like, they have to have this stoic emotion the whole time. Why did I say- oh! Did I say something bad? All I said is that I wanted my character to freeze. I didn't say I wanted to torture them, though. I did not say that. I was gonna make that joke, but I was like, nah. Nah. Does anybody remember when I used the book of questions to make topics? I haven't used it in forever. And I have it in my closet. Because when I was unpacking, I found it. Should I use the book today? I think I stopped using it in like May and June. Because not that I necessarily am able to like keep talking on the stream. But I feel more comfortable when there's laps of silence. Obviously, I do get more conscious about it. Because I understand if you're not talking, then you're not entertaining. Let's do it. Okay, I'll grab it in a second. Next island, I'll grab it. Oh, where's my highlighter? Because I would highlight the questions I've answered. Because, like, when I edit VODs, I'll watch them back, right? And I try to remember... If the clip of what I'm talking about is something I've already discussed. Because when you don't do much, I feel like a lot of my commentary is talking about streaming, my opinions on things. Or like food takes. And that's a lot of what stream is. I think I want to talk more about like introspective things. Like I want to like draft out monologues and post videos reading the monologues. I think it would be fun to try, like, voice acting or narration. And I feel like that would help with, like, my stutter. But that would obviously be something I could do offline. I know chatters are saying maybe I should try, like, read books on stream, but I can't do that because copyright. You can't read a whole book on stream. That would be cool, though. Really? Yeah. Like, you're technically... Because, like, it's not your copyright. It's not the written text that you wrote. It's kind of like how people reacting to videos. 
that's not okay, but kind of okay because it's transformative. You're pausing the video. You're not initially like ripping the whole video. But if you're just reading a book, then you're literally just reading the text. And it's not transformative at all. Because, like, I wanted to initially do, like, a stream segment back when I started streaming a year ago. Where I would read a chapter from a book once a week. And I thought that'd be kind of fun. But you can't do that. Like, you can make content that's reviewing the book or reviewing the chapter. But you can't just read it outright. Right is right. <laughs> I know we did the, I read the entire Washington Driver's Manual book stream but I feel like that was fine because it's not like the driver's license book is like it's not a creative text it's just the rules so I think that was fine how did you get away with that <laughs> wasn't that a sub only stream so yeah the copyright owners they would have had to become a sub to watch it so I think that's why we got away with it <laughs> Not saying that you should do bad things during sub only streams because that's Twitch TOS, but I think that is fine because that's literally just the rules and it's public accessible information. So I think that would I think that's fine. That, that's like me dipping my toes into the water. No narcs, no narcs. I might have to retake my learner's permit test. Because I didn't realize, because like in Washington, if you're above 18, you can just take the driver's test, but you still have to pass the written. Um, and you can choose to get like a practice, practice driver's license. That way you can drive with somebody who has five years experience. I thought it was valid for six months, but it's only valid for two. So since I got it in July, it expired in... Uh... September. But I think your written test is valid for six months. So either way, if I took it in July, it's going to expire in January. <laughs> so I probably have to retake it again. Minus another $50. But you know what? I'm not ready to drive yet. My doctor said I probably shouldn't. So it don't matter. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm mentally ready to drive, but physically I'm not ready. And that's fine. I'd rather drive when I feel fully comfortable and safe to drive. And you know what? There's more buses here, so it's not that big a loss. I mean, me and my sister were gonna do errands tomorrow, and my roommate's gonna be out of town for the day. So we gotta, like, take the buses everywhere. Which is fine, it was expected, but it's gonna take like an extra, like, hour and a half to get everywhere, just to take the buses. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. The stream was fun though, really? I mean, I think it was kind of funny. The concept was funny. I think a really fun idea would be to le read, like, Grimm story tales in costume. I think that'd be such a fun, like, segment to do. But obviously I wouldn't be able to do. I know it could be fun. But obviously you can't do it because I can't read the story. This is one of the ideas that I was drafting out. If I could read stories, like, I could read, like, fairy tales. And then I can invite people to the island, and they could, like, act out the play as I'm reading. I thought that'd be kind of funny. I want to figure out a way that I could do that. You, obviously, what I could do is, like, if it's considered parody, if you, like, write your own story that's reminiscent of a work, but it's not, like, 
directly copying that's considered parody. That could be an interesting planned bit we could do for a stream. One of my goals being in this new place is I want to try and do one planned stream or like a planned stream week every month. I mean, this month is going to be Christmas, obviously. And I think January, January will do we. I think we won't necessarily require as much planning. February, we have Valentine's Day. March is Shamrock. April is birthday stream. Okay, my storage is almost full. Okay, I think I'm gonna craft the hot item of the day and then we'll go back to hunting. Just so I can clear up some inventory. Dude, I have so much food, I'm a hoarder. Or wait, actually, I can just sell fruit. I still haven't gotten a pie from Cutie Lee. I actually got scammed. Nah, I gave her cherries that weren't pitted, so that was that was very mean. I didn't realize they weren't pitted. I forgot. Because uh, we had two cherry trees in our parents' backyard. And... Kitty Lee was like, oh my god, I can make you a pie. And I'm like, oh my god, that's great. And then I gave her cherries. They were de-stemmed, but they weren't pitted. And they were frozen, but I gave them to her. So she... <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> You know, it's fine, it's fine. It's my fault. Oh, well, you 140k? If I had that money? I can do anything I want. Attempt number eight? I think? I mean, eight attempts for two hours? Not bad. That means each attempt is 10, 15 minutes? Not bad. Granted, if we were speedrunning, I wouldn't be harvesting resources, but I'm not wasting miles. Nuh uh. See him typing. <laughs> I wonder what his word per minute is. It's like, you know how people have those, um, like, PG tubers Where it's like the cat going like this on the keyboard? <laughs> A thousand holy.
Yeah, I'm gonna try and play in this POV. Oh. They're cute though. Little duck. We've gotten two ducks today. No penguins. I think that's a good sign. Dude, dude, playing in this perspective is weird. I'm gonna try it though. For this whole island, we're playing this POV. It feels like the dragon plays right in my face. I hate it. I've never liked first person POV games. Because I think it's weird. Okay, I know it's normal for when you play a game, you feel like you're playing it and you're, you're actually experiencing it. But I never play like that. Because the way I experience things, I try and see it as like somebody else made this and I'm enjoying what they made. I'm not necessarily seeing myself or role-playing myself as the character, right? So I don't like the games where like you can't see the character running or if you only see like their hands or their gun they're holding. I don't like playing those types of games. It's very like off-putting to me. It's almost like too real and I don't want it to be real. I know I can watch like shooters or when people play like, zombie games but I don't think I ever could. I think I'd get scared. I'm gonna wait till they get out of my way. Oh, they're so cute, though! In their little school uniform? Yeah, I think today I'm gonna edit videos off stream. Because I only have like a week worth of- a week worth of clips left queued, so I'm like, oh shit, I gotta edit now. Are you scared when you play a squid game? Nah. Because in Splatoon, you can see the character, like, the full body. Wait, were there first-person POV moments? I mean, like, it would still switch between, like, having the full body and then kind of more POV shots. So it wasn't bad. Hi, Pride. Welcome in. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm much better than yesterday. So that's good. Welcome in, hon. <laughs> Look at their eyebrows. They're like, oh. <laughs> I like this little duck guy. They also look kind of sad. And I like that. I like sad boys. Okay, playing in this perspective isn't bad. I kind of like it because you see more of the character. It also feels like I don't have to walk as much. I know it's the same distance, but the perspective makes it seem like I'm not walking nearly as far. I hope it doesn't snow the rest of this year. You know, we had snow last week, and I'm happy with it. Because when my friend came over to, like, make eggnog, they almost got snowed in. Because <laughs> they were like, oh shit! I think the last time... Hmm. I got snowed in... Was about seven years ago, there was a huge ice storm in Washington. And essentially, we didn't have power for like two, three days. And it was very cold, so like all the trees were freezing over. And like br whole branches were coming down. Because they would just freeze and then shatter. Like Christmas though? <laughs> but that's not as cool anymore when you're not a kid. We 
We got a package from our aunt. And we got it in the mail yesterday. And usually... <laughs> similar to my grandma, we get a junk box every year. So we're gonna wait till Christmas to open it. So I'm crossing my fingers. It's not a junk. <laughs> It feels more like Christmas when it's snowy, I guess. I mean, that's what you see in movies all the time, right? And what you see in the movies is what you should expect from real life. Dude, I wish my movie was a Hallmark movie. Fuck. Wait, hold it. I'll try again. I wish my life was a Hallmark movie. Falling in love in Christmas? That's the dream. But that'll never happen. I'm incel, you guys know. You never experienced snow Christmas? Don't you say- Oh, fuck! I think you said you live in, like, the Midwest, right? Oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> this is so much scary! <laughs> okay, it's a lot harder to, like, see the bees in this perspective. Don't worry! I have medicine. Yeah, I don't mind this perspective as much. I think I need to play in this per perspective more. Because I like how it's more zoomed in. Oh, they took off their hat! Did it stop snowing? I think it stopped snowing in game. Half the time it's rainy. Uh, that's how it is in here in Washington, too. It's either snow or rain. <laughs> you like like that, though? That's good. That's good. You know what else I like? Running ads! Because, guys, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But... You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have Prime available. And if you are new here, follow the stream. If you follow, you get funny haha free follower only emails and you get to type in chat. No way. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. And if you're new, follow. Easy clap. Okay, I'm also gonna get more water. So we're gonna go in emote only mode briefly. And I'll turn the overlay, that way you guys can spam. So everybody, spam your favorite emote in chat. Have fun, I'll be right back. I have shorts on, don't worry. Don't worry.
Sorry, it took longer because the outfit winded. So my sister, she ordered like a display case for her um for her like ceramic shit. Um, so she ordered like a glass display case, and it's a huge fucking box, like right outside the door. So I'm like, fuck. I mean, like. I don't think anybody would try and steal it because it's fucking heavy. And it says on the box, glass cabinet. So, I had to lug that shit in. I need a minute. Did I miss something, your mom? Welcome in, Titans. <laughs> Low key, right, though? <laughs> Dude, that shit was heavy! Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't gone that long. That was like three minutes. <laughs> it was actually kind of long. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Wait, I gotta text her that she got her shot. You should get a hand cart, but dude, it was like, it was long. It was like six feet long. And no way. No way. It's way too long, but it's okay, it's fine, I got it in. Just gotta figure out how to bring it up the goddamn stairs. Okay. Gaming time. Thank you for your patience, I appreciate it, guys. I think it's so funny how I come out of the airport with my axe in hand. Should bring one of the rolly shopping carts? No, but that's so cringe. Only old people do that, and I'm not old. I mean, I honestly should. Because <laughs> my sister was gonna give me like a wagon. But I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna lug that to the grocery store. Measy on your body, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, my sister texted me, thank you. Was it heavy? <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> Dude, she's great. You're done with finals, let's go. I have a final due next weekend, sad. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Was it heavy? Dude, I can't. Just... Okay. She replies back just checking. What, does she think they should... <laughs> does she think they sent us an empty box? Oh my god. Oh, she's great. That to be extra silly? Huh? Not as silly as my sister. Like, okay. She will ask, like, questions like that, because she doesn't... Like, they're common sense, right? But she will still ask them, and it's so funny to me. <laughs> funny how when I tell her that she got a package, she texts me back instantly. But anytime I text her about anything else, Takes at least 30 minutes. SMH. Becoming a transition pro? Yeah! I've been doing it for how long? Did I do transition? I'm trying to think. I think I might have done transitions for affiliate. Or when I wasn't affiliate. I think I did transitions for following. 
Be like, over oh, an hour to stream. It's time for me to tell you guys to follow. Teehee. Any believers? Anybody think we'll find her? Oh wait, we're doing this perspective, I forgot. from the game and we didn't know? That'd be very sad. But then we can do the searching for the love of my bit for forever. A lifeless robot. 083. Wait, isn't that the number for... And get smart? What was this ancient number? Oh! Max was smart! Agent 86! Damn, I was close. I knew it was an 80 number. Anybody know Get Smart? Some of my favorite, like, older shows. They made a Get Smart movie with Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway. That's pretty hyped, but the show's is nothing compared to the show. That's a robot? Yeah, but I saw the 083 and I thought of Get Smart. Nobody else think like that? like shipping companies how they mail fragile items without them breaking because I feel like if you mail something fragile it's bound to break I don't think I'd ever mail like a framed painting or like something ceramic because I just don't trust the postal system because like even when you're driving in the car like things shuffle around I'd be so scared to mail something And I, I feel like half the packages I get, they're like dented, or they got tears in them. Because we just got that glass cabinet, and it's like, I hope it's fine. I think my sister said it came with like free insurance, so if something did arrive shattered, then they would ship her a new one. But you ever see the clips of like delivery people, like just tossing boxes over gates? <laughs> and then they get fired, of course, but... It's still like somebody else's things. How can they have such disregard? You're about to play Portal? I've never played Portal. I don't think I'd like it because I don't like puzzles. consume like streams or videos I'm usually doing something else like chores playing a game I don't think there's any time where I can sit down and watch something anymore the only time I can really do that is if it's like a TV show or a movie where there's like a lot of visual stimulus where I feel like I have to like analyze every single shot 
Like, I know whenever I consume, like, stream content, I don't, like, watch as much anymore. Or I don't chat as much. Like, I like just having things on in the background. And it's also nice, it feels like you're playing games with somebody else when you have a stream open and you're playing games yourself. Okay. I'm gonna check this real quick. I'm gonna, because it looks like my game capture card is lagging, I'm gonna undo it real quick, okay? Don't freak out. Because Animal Crossing, for some reason, the frame it always looks like ass, but sometimes it works, looks worse than other times. Okay, see, look, that looks a bit better now. It was really lagging before. Mom, what happened to the stream? I fixed it, I fixed it. Don't call me a mom. Ew. It happened the other day, like, twice, yeah. If it, if you, if it noticeably lags sometimes, Animal Crossing, I don't know why the fuck it's just Animal Crossing, but I noticed that it lags a bit more than usual. So if you notice it, just say something and I'll reset it. Don't worry. Because, like, I can't fix these issues after the stream, like, in post. Like, I wish I could record streams as I stream. Like, some people, they can record their, like, face cam in a higher res than it is on stream. Could it be the bigger of the game? No, because, like, it looks fine on my TV. It's the capture card. So, yeah. Yeah. Because I know for faster paced games, like a racing game, like example Mario Kart, sometimes bitrate for the stream does go down. But that's just as more, that's just because there's more visuals or colors on screen. So that's normal. But for a game like Animal Crossing, it should not be lagging. Yeah, exactly. Titans just gave a more detailed explanation, but yeah, that is correct. <laughs> But I know, like, if you're, like, let's say you're editing a video. Um, you can have, like, a constant bitrate. Like, when you're exporting for YouTube, for example. That's how you get, like, insistent high res throughout the whole export. It's constant bitrate instead of variable, I believe it's called. Um, I already knew that. You sound like a nerd. Um, actually... Yeah, because just with, like, my type of capture card, I have the Elgato HT60S. And... It's, like, the lesser version, I think. So any game that it captures is going to be like slightly lagged or delayed than what I see on my TV or in like my game capture. But it's it's fine. I got to work with what I got. I wonder if anybody's taken out like a business loan to start a streaming channel. I feel like it could make sense. Like, take out a 5k loan. But then it's like, you'd have to register as a business. I don't feel like there's any need to register as a business for streaming unless you have people working under you. Ooh, big fish! Ooh, a sturgeon. Just like my surgeons.
I know there's a lot of people who are scared of like anesthesia and not waking up, but I'm personally not scared. Because I'm like, if you're allergic, then it's just GG's, right? You've lived your life and then game over, right? But I'm not gonna let that scare me. Granted, I've never had the need to get a surgical procedure where I would need to be knocked out. But if that's just how my cards were drawn, then I guess that's how it is. Like, there's no- it's not worth for me to, like, freak out over it. Capture cards work over USB, they have bitrate too? Oh! Because I feel like I know the basics of tech, but I don't know any specifics. Any specifics, like if I'm installing something new, I'll, I'll look up a walkthrough or like how to install it and then I do it and then I forget. I don't retain information very well. I'm the cliche in one ear, out the other. Another island, one and done. I think we'll go for like 30 more minutes because I want to spend some time editing today. I forgot how good fresh food is. That isn't fast food. I know, right? Fruits are pretty good, huh? I've been like craving Little Caesars though. I don't need it though. My body's so surprised. It's like, what is this? Healthy food? What is this blasphemy? Dude, I am not excited to move that shelf upstairs. I'm not excited. I'm so scared I'm gonna drop it. You had Wendy's twice and IHOP, dude. You're spoiling yourself. You shouldn't be eating out that much. I feel like IHOP is a scam, though. It's way too expensive. Or going out to eat anywhere is super expensive. Because my sister bought dinner last night. We were looking through, like, all the delivery places. And everything is so expensive. Because, like, now seeing how much everything costs, like, going grocery shopping on my own and budgeting. Mainly when you're going out to eat, you're paying for the person making the food. Because food cost is minimal. Because you know they get fat discounts when you buy in bulk. My roommates are horrible, so I'm avoiding them. <gasps> Drama? You're actually moving out of the unit? <gasps> you want to spill some tea? We're going to drama farm? But that sucks, man. That's what I was kind of scared about. Like, right now we're rooming a place with friends. And it's been going nice. It's going fine. 
But that's what I'm kind of scared of. Like, the cliche of, like, you, you live with your friends and then you hate each other. Oh, they're just horrible people? Oh, I'm sorry, hun. I'm sorry. Gonna try move during break? Ooh. I mean, avoidance is kind of fun. I don't know if it's like the safest thing to do, though. Yeah, good luck. That's the thing that I'm kind of scared of. If I ever do, like, live fully on my own or live with a partner, it's like... I can only think about, like, the end. They're just toxic people? Okay. It's, it's good that you're not in any immediate danger because that's, like, obviously a huge concern. But, you know, get out if you can. Surely this time I'll find her. There's a pink villager, but it's not her. Sad. Will we never find her? Am I just meant to be forever alone? Is this karma for deleting her in the first place? appeared in every game apparently not my game though one day surely what if you're just bugged I don't know cuz the way I got Aurora on my main game that I deleted was cuz I think one of the first missions is you have to build three houses and she was one of the people who moved into that house. So maybe that's the only way you can get her. But no way, they can't be right. Because not everybody has Aurora. I don't know. We're gonna keep farming though. <laughs> this title always farms lots of clicks. <laughs> Then people come in, have you found her yet? At least five people say that every time. We're farming chat. Deal still stands. When I hit partner, we delete this island. That deal is still on the table. Somebody send you a card? No! Well, then that- I don't like human trafficking. That is bad and illegal. And it's so much better when you do things yourself instead of taking the easy way out. And I know you guys will click on the stream if you see- Oh, we're doing Aurora hunting! And then you watch the whole thing. Easy.
It's like a monthly ritual at this point. We search, we don't find her, we get sad, and go back to normal. It's a cycle. And if somebody did send me a card, I'd rip it to shreds. Because it's not real. It's not her. If she wants me to find her, then she'll appear. If she doesn't, then she won't. And that's fine. I have to accept it. You can't just buy happiness. Even though she's the only one who made me happy. for the tournament on Sunday. I'm excited. I really like how there's customizable items now. Because I was seeing clips of people doing a blue shell only race and it's so funny. We'll do that in January. Come on! That was close. I didn't run far enough. I believe we're doing lightning only. No, we're doing lightning and booze. So that way there's something to counteract the lightning. So I feel like if I did lightning only, you guys would get fucking mad. You guys would legitimately get mad. And I would get mad too. At you guys for getting mad at me. But I think if we do do a blue shell tourney, we would enable the boom box as well. Just to make it fair. Because shells only make sense because you can hold on to a shell to block another shell incoming. Counteract a fireball though. I don't know. Maybe if you're holding a shell, it can hit the shell, but sometimes it if it hits the wrong angle, it still makes you spin out. So probably for some custom tourneys, there wouldn't be any items to counteract. You know what, you guys, us can act upon clicking that follow button because we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell some of you guys to follow. If you aren't following, follow the channel. You get free follower emotes and you get to type in chat. Wowee. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. Only 70% of you guys have notifications on. So if, we don't miss this, if you don't want to miss a single stream, smash the bell. Is that good? That, I almost had it. I was close. I think we get time for two more islands. We have three more tickets, so let's do three more actually. Final three.
Okay, go Gambit. Do you think we'll find her this time? Our third to last attempt of the day. Oh wait, I said I was gonna get the question book. I forgot. Give me a number between 1 and 150 and I'll open to that page. It told me how many trips to the moon I would have? What is that? What? <laughs> like in terms of like distance travel? Huh? Six. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay, there's a few questions that I can answer on this page. Oh, it calculates how many chips you could have made in that time. Yeah, Mac, you could have been an astronaut instead of spending time on Reddit. <laughs> so both my grandma and my mom are really into gardening. They like getting plants started, flowers and all that jazz. So there always was usually like a fresh bouquet or a branch inside the house. I think my favorite had to be uh, my mom. She has like a small lilac tree. So there'd always be like fresh lilacs in the bathroom when I was in bloom. And my neighbor, or my old neighbor now because we moved. But she has this beautiful wisteria plant that like cascades over the gate that goes to her backyard. And it takes years for it to grow, but the the trunk is so pretty because it looks like like you know those candy canes that are like twisted? It's so pretty. I think making your garden look nice is such a flex on your other neighbors. Cause so many of our new neighbors, like they don't keep up with their yards. I know one of them. They moved in six months ago, and they've only mowed their lawn like three times the whole time, so they have grass that is like nearly two feet tall. But I think having a nice garden is what leaves a first impression on your visitors or people passing by your house. And I remember in school, whenever the roses came in bloom, we would always bring like a bouquet to our teachers. And I remember one year I brought a bouquet of like pink roses to my teacher and there was an earring on one of them and I was trying to quietly tell her before she freaked out and saw it <laughs> and I pointed it out and she like jumped in her chair <laughs> and then she threw it out but earwigs oh they aren't that bad they're kind of creepy looking I'm the type of person to where if I see a bug, it's fine. If I see it crawling on me, it's fine. But if I feel it, but I don't see it, that's when I freak out. Now the question was, when did you last have fresh flowers in your home? I've never been bought flowers for. 
Because, like, my previous partner, they'd be like, you want any? I'm like, no. Buying flowers is dumb. Because they die. And they're, like, true. Can I vault? Oh, I can't vault here. Fuck, I forgot. Because, like, oh, what's something so cute? I remember one of my old co-workers, he used to bike to work. And there was a farmer's market every Saturday. And every Saturday, before his shift started, because I think they did mid shifts, so they'd be there from, like, 11 to 3. Um, no, they did morning. I oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, they did morning, so they'd be opening till 2. And the market closes at 2, so... <laughs> they would try to, like, book it once their shift ended. And buy, he'd buy his girlfriend a, a bouquet of flowers every week. And it's so cute. So many new recipes today. You have allergies? Damn, that sucks. I think the gesture of somebody buying flowers for you is really sweet and cute. But I'm the type of person that values utility. Like, I don't need extravagant gifts or gestures. I'd rather you spend time with me or get me something useful. Not giving information to any possible simps. I'm just saying. Yeah, I was looking through. Because when we were packing, right? I have like a drawer. I have a special drawer. Where I keep like cards and old drawings. And like little memorabilia from like past friendships and stuff. And I found... The Valentine's Day card that uh, my previous partner made for me years ago. And it was so cute. I, I started crying when I was reading it because I was like, oh my god, this is adorable. I was like, oh, we really cared for each other. Sad. But it was, it was really sweet. And <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> It's like, they bought like a pre-made card, right? And then they wrote a note in it. And the, <laughs> the pre-made card, it said, To my dear husband. <laughs> and they said, because I was like, oh, that's a funny card. And they they said they bought the card because they liked the pattern, not because they, they didn't write it. They just bought the, like, the prettiest card they saw. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Like, they were, like, so upset. They're like, oh my god, I can buy you a new car. I'm like, no, it's funny. It's great. It's a good story. Yeah, I, I feel like... If a relationship ends on good terms, then it's fine to keep things. You know, because, like, if you remember it in a good light, then I think it's fine. Like, obviously, you shouldn't cling on, because that's cringe. And you should move on. But you can still keep little tokens. Because that was still like a phase and a part of your life, right? Yeah, that's literally what my partner did too. We still talk a lot too. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I wasn't mentally well then or now either, so Lamau. <laughs> it's aight. Oh shit, sorry. I just got Really Don't Care by Demi Lovato. And I haven't heard the song forever. Because I remember my Spanish teacher in high school, he would find like Spanish covers of American pop songs and we would listen to them and like learn the lyrics. So like I've only heard the Spanish version of the song. It's been ages since I've heard the English version. <laughs> Okay, I have something in my eye. I'm not rolling my eyes, I promise. I'm not crying either. I did not cry thinking about that Valentine's Day now. I actually have something in my eye. <laughs> uh, I'm not crying, I'm not crying. If I were crying, it'd be in both my eyes. 
But it's just my right one. I have a sty in my left eye, apparently. And then I have shit in this eye. Just L after L. Okay, two more tries, guys. Two more, and then we got it. Surely we'll find her. Okay, what's another number between 1 and 150? Anybody want to shoot their shot? Nine plus ten, twenty-one. Sure, I love that number. <laughs> Guys, go gamba. Surely this time will be the one. Surely. Oh, wait, this is POV. Oh! Dude, they look edgy as fuck, though. I'm gonna go home cry, Dad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, one of the questions is, how much time do you spend on your computer every day? Oh, no. Oh no, fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> Next question. A lot of time- I spent- oh no. I, d I don't want to self-report. Ah, uh, I- okay. Let me actually think and find a number. I spend a lot of time on my computer. Main reason? I don't have a job and I need something to entertain myself. And since I'm still doing online college, I spend, let's say, an hour or two doing homework every other day. If we talk about, like, streaming, I'm technically on my computer but also holding my controller. So that's about, like, three to four hours a day. If we're talking about entertainment, like watching a stream or a video, I watch stuff on my TV more so, but I used to watch it more so on my computer. Uh, I, I spend a lot of my wake hours on the computer. I was thinking about this last night. I spent so much of my day staring at a screen. It's partially because like I can't go out. I don't have much money. So it's not like I can go out and do things. And it's not like I have physical limitations as well. So like... Even going up and down the stairs is a bit much for me. So I... If I'm awake... 16 hours... I probably spend... Like 75% on the computer. That... Dude, that's so sad. But you know what is nice? I'm spending a lot less time on my phone. Because every week, along with my iPad, they're like, Oh, you spend like... 10% less screen time on your phone or your iPad this week. And I'm like, yes! But I also spend so much fucking time on my computer. I think the only time it really becomes a problem is if I can't fall asleep. I usually try and, like, turn my computer off, like, two hours before I go to bed. And then I'll just do something else. Or, I, I can under... I know the days where I'm straining myself, like, because I usually get, like, ticks in my right eye. If I notice I'm getting too much screen time. Like, it feels like there's, like, a pain behind my eye. You average four hours on your phone? Holy. I think I spend max two hours. But that's because I usually just use my phone to post and that's it. Because I'm usually on my computer or on the TV. What did people do?
do before like the internet or like before the TV. Like life must have been sad and boring. <laughs> go outside, I guess. <laughs> There is like a walking trail that I could go on, but it's like two miles away, so I gotta take the bus to get on that trail. And it's not necessarily as safe to bike, because the area I live in is really hilly. And there's not many sidewalks, and I do not want to bike in the road. I would never touch grass, meaning the grass is gross. I never liked walking in grass barefoot, because my parents always had me paranoid that I would step on like actual shit or glass. Like going to the beach too, they never let me walk barefoot. Because they're like, oh, you're going to step on a shell or glass. So I'm always wearing shoes anytime I go outside. Even if I'm going outside to, like, grab something from the porch, I always have, like, slippers on. Because, like, I hate getting dirty. I don't like being dirty. And since we have, like, hardwood floors, you can tell when there's, like, grime or dirt or dust in the floor. And I hate when it sticks to your feet. If it's in your backyard, nah... I still wouldn't. I think it's a sensory thing. Because sometimes, like, feeling grass on my bare feet, it's almost like... It's not a calming feeling for me. I get, like, prickly feelings. You like walking on the huge rocks barefoot? You're gonna, like, cut your foot open. And then get tetanus. Because that's where I like to throw my rusty nails. before shoes. When were shoes invented? What came first, fire or shoes? I think another reason why I was super tired yesterday is because I did not get a lot of sleep. Because my sister woke me up. Dude, I got so annoyed at her too. Because I told her, I was like, please don't like text me unless it's something you like absolutely need. And she texted me like at 6 a.m. <laughs> what, what the fuck did she text me? Oh, uh, she was just texting me that she brought like the mail key with her. Because we usually keep all our keys like in the house, right? So she texts me at 6 a.m. And usually, notification sounds don't wake me up, but it woke me up because I, I fell asleep with my phone in my hand. 6 a.m. Too, ain't too bad. Well, I need to get a lot of sleep, okay? But I don't. My doc is like, are you getting six to eight hours? And I'm like, nah. I'm trying, but I can't. I think it's because since there's like AC in this house or duplex, I'm gonna keep saying house, but it's a duplex. Like, everybody else in the house likes it warmer, so it's at a solid 70. But I literally can't fall asleep. It's way too fucking hot. I think it's because everybody else is, like, skinny. And I'm, like, overweight. So I have more body heat, okay? So, 70 is way too warm. And I've tried convincing them. I was like, can we do like a nice 65 or a 60? And they're like, no. It's way too cold. But it's like, my sister and I, we didn't have any AC, any air conditioning growing up. No heater. The only thing we had, the wood stove. So it, it'd always be like 40 degrees inside. So like, we're used to the cold. We sleep at average 8.30. That's pretty good. I wish I could get that many hours. 
I saw this one video this morning. I don't know if it's true, but it was saying that women typically need more hours than men do because we produce less hormones or something. I had to watch the video again. I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, guys, this is going to be our last attempt, our last island of the day. So everybody, please, peace I do pray. We'll find her this time. Everybody pray. Surely this time. Also, our last gamba of the day. We have to find her on our last island, right? We gotta. We have to. So many pink villagers today. I'm sad. Another three hours. Seemingly wasted. Searching needlessly. One day. What if she just randomly spawns? Like she just randomly appears at home? It wouldn't make any of this time more worthwhile. It'll still mean nothing. this time. Oh! I didn't press A in time. Yeah, bees are messing me up today. I've gotten stung... bad. Only five times out of like 13 trips. Oh, that's like a 50% loss rate. That's actually kind of bad. I fell off. I'm so excited for the Mario movie though. I think I'm going to see it twice in theaters. Because like one time just to experience it. And then another, another time to, like, appreciate the visuals. Because just everything we've seen from trailers so far, the visuals are going to be insane. And in the most recent clip they showed at the Game Boards last night, like, the music and the score is going to go crazy.
Should I stream the Mario movie? In a game, of course, I'm kidding. Twitch stuff, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh my god, you know we go to YouTube and you search like the Grinch full movie and it's like a two hour upload and then they show like the opening like company sequence and then it's like, oh, go to our website to watch the movie. And you know it's obviously a scam link, but you're so tempted to click it. I fell for a few of those when I was younger and I got so many viruses, so just don't do it. They're obviously debates. Just buy the movie. Get a job and w buy the movie. Or beg your parents to buy the movie for you. But just like searching in the search bar and seeing like a two hour upload and you're like, Finally? Somebody finally ripped the movie and put it on YouTube? And then just getting debated. It's the worst. Or it's super tiny, yeah. Uh, or it's like a one minute upload. And you're like, this ain't the movie. I got lied to. You know who else got lied to? Non-subs, because we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of IADS. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. Also, if you're new here, follow the stream. We got one new follower today. Pog you. Can we get four more? <laughs> if you follow, you get free emotes. Easy. Um, guess I want to get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I know I said I was gonna make cookies for my sister's co-workers, but what if I just made like a fuck ton of cake pops instead? But cookies would be fun. But, because like the problem is I don't have enough cookie trays. <laughs> because like... Because she works in a factory. So obviously I'm not gonna make cookies for everybody. Like I'll probably just like package maybe a hundred goodie bags, but if I put like four cookies per bag, that's four hundred cookies. Yeah, I think cake pops would be better. It'd probably be easier for me to, like, um, like, give an ingredients list, too. Like, if I just use cake mix, and then I can make an ingredients list, that way everybody knows what's in it for allergies. They sent us yearly cookies for big corporate- ooh! I think the gifts we got from my previous bosses, we got- Oh, for the pizza place? Nobody got shit for Christmas. It was just like a goodie basket that everybody had to share that had like 20 bags of chips in it and then candy bars and everybody had to share. So everybody only got like two pieces. And then at Subway, um, it was our franchisee who got us gifts. One year she got us a box of chocolates and then the next year she got everybody like a hot cocoa set and then like a blanket that I still use every night. It's a really good blanket. <laughs> But I think making cake pops would be easier. I'd have to ask her how many coworkers she has, though. The only concern is that, like, I'd have, to, I'd have to, like, individually wrap them. But that doesn't seem as bad. Because I was thinking I could just make snowman ones. Because it would just be white chocolate. And then sprinkles for the eyes and the nose. Easy. It'd be cute. And then I could, like, tie a scarf, quote-unquote, with a ribbon around the cellophane. Cake pop bouquet. Ooh. Oh, then, because that's where you just put in, like, a foam ball, right? That would be cute. But then she's got to carry it to work. I'd, I'd be so scared that she'd fucking drop it. She's not a klutz, but she's ditzy, you know? Nah, I think she can handle it. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask her what she'd want me to do. Because I feel like cake pops would be a lot less work. Obviously, it would still be, like hours of work that we'll do on stream, but I feel like it'd be less overwhelming to do than, um, than what you call it, cookies. 
Okay, well that's our final island done. Sad, we didn't find her today. Okay, well, that's another day of searching. Another unsuccessful day. We still have not found her. But one day I will. We will be reunited. And I will love her so much. <laughs> okay, chatters, we're gonna switch gears. Stream is not over yet because we did get a gifted sub. No fucking way. So we get to put a present under the tree today. So I'm gonna get some music on for y'all. Sad. No Aurora. Okay, we're changing our title because we're farming. Oh, I don't know. I'm listening to circles by post alone, but I literally do not know the words. Okay, so. Let's get our present made. I did not trace any more templates, so I'm gonna cut one out real quick. We're using the old wallpaper from the old house. Thank you for redeeming, Mac. You actually got it today. Good one. Easy crap, Mac. Yeah, I'm... I'm right here. I'm just tracing out the template. I'm not... I'm not a shared streamer, guys. Now it's just time to cut.
There we go. Finally got the big piece off. Yeah. This one's so cute, though. I really like this heart wallpaper. I'll miss it. Hope you get a sleep tracker. How do those work? Because my dad had a CPAP machine and it would track like what his breathing was and stuff. But that was hooked up to the machine. You know, honestly, I want for Christmas, I want like a a hundred dollar gift card is safe one. That way I can buy some groceries. Call me boring, but practical. Hey, template done. What an adult thing to want. What, wanting food? Well, honestly, I just want my fucking disability to be approved, then I don't have to worry about grocery money. It's annoying because the process takes so long. So I applied back in, what, September? And it's frickin' December? As for an Uber Eats card, I use DoorDash, because DoorDash is better. Uber is ite, but... DoorDash is better, in my opinion. I didn't pull this one. Oh, this box is super crooked. Awkward. <laughs> Zoomers who grew up on the internet are gonna be like messed up. Cause like you know, in like the '90s, you grew up with the TV. Growing up with the internet is probably gonna. I feel like you're exposed to so many things that you would have no knowledge of otherwise. Okay, I'm done. Okay, this side looks better. Thank you, Matt, for the gift to the chat room today. Added. 
now we can do calligraphy. Make sure I got caught in the rug, but it was fine, I caught it in time. Okay, so if you want to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Also, I got my new side desk in the mail, so I'm hopefully going to have that set up by Sunday. Because I think today I'm going to edit then make dinner and then homework tomorrow and today that way it will be ready for Sunday stream okay once again thank you Mac for a gift to the channel I appreciate you okay next is channel point names this is gonna be our last name of the day so if you have a rich name you can donate or use your channel points There we go, we had Mac. Sorry about the shadows, that's from like the tripod holder. I'll find a different angle. Okay. I think we're gonna end it here. So, I would like to thank everybody who watched today's stream, Many Chatters Lookers. I appreciate everybody for hanging out today once again. I appreciate everybody's patience. Like I said, next week I have an appointment with the specialist, so hopefully we can figure out what is going on. I should be live. I know I will be live. I got on Sunday with the Meg Esports Lightning Only Tournament. Top three get VIP as usual. And I will have that survey for the Naughty or Nice stream up by Sunday. So look forward to that. If you want to keep updates on stream, follow my offline socials. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow my Twitter. If you are following my Twitter, then you're a real fan. If you're not, then you're a fake fan. Obviously. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys on Sunday. People, bye. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, bye.